Thank you to Moomoo for sponsoring today's show. Are you looking for a stock trading platform with a ton of cool features? Yeah, I'm talking about no commissions on stocks, ETFs, or options tradings. And no account minimums. You get easy to use pro grade tools with real time level two data and AI supported alerts. You can trade around the clock in the US and easily access global markets all while getting 24 seven customer support. If you want to stay up to date on Tesla's business data, like vehicle deliveries and production, Moomoo is a great source. And right now, Moomoo is giving away free stocks. If you sign up using the NYK link, you'll get one free stock for opening an account. Four more free stocks if you deposit just $100 and another 10 free stocks if you deposit $1,000. You don't even have to start trading. It's just the depositing that gets you the stocks. And get this, using our special Moomoo link below gets you two additional free stocks. So that means in total, you could receive up to 17 free stocks. Use the link down below for more details and join Moomoo today. You can choose when to trade, but don't miss out on the big bonus. Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching Disruptive Investing News Show that we do every week. And uh, so look, there are so many companies and researchers working on new battery technologies. And you might ask yourself from time to time, why don't Zach and Jesse cover more new battery technologies? So it's a good question. And here's our answer. We could literally do a weekly show just on new battery technologies. Every week, we could talk about what's being discovered and worked on in labs around the world in the world of batteries. There are so many intelligent, hardworking scientists and entrepreneurs and engineers working on this. It's super exciting. But at the end of the day, let's be honest. Let's be brutally honest here. At the end of the day, most of these batteries will never get any further than a lab bench. A few will. A few will become the next new tech of tomorrow. But if we told you about all of them before they've proven themselves, both in terms of energy density, weight, cycle life, safety, reliability, and cost. Yeah, don't forget about cost. So if we told you about all of them, well, it would get overwhelming fast. But we are going to tell you about Amprius Technologies today for nine reasons. Oh, great. Don't overwhelm people with the battery companies, <laughs> just with the reasons. Take out your notes. All right. Reason number one. Amprius Technologies is listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol AMPX. So we don't just have to talk about it. We could invest in it if we wanted to. So disclaimer, Jesse and I are not financial advisors. Do your own research before investing and investing is risky. Uh, so number two, Amprius uses silicon nanowires instead of graphite in the anode in its lithium ion battery. So the key point here for me is that like graphite, silicon is plentiful. Number three, the nanowires allow for higher energy density. Amprius's battery is high power and high energy density. We're talking about 500 watt hours per kilogram and 1300 watt hours per liter and 200% runtime compared to graphite cells. Number four, Amprius is located here. As Holmar's catalog points out, right next to Tesla's Cato Road battery facility in Fremont, California. Hmm, wonder why they're located there. Number five, Amprius's technology allows customers to customize the battery to either favor increased energy or reduce weight if that is desirable. Right, because sometimes if you're putting it, let's say in a plane, you might wanna have one factor over, let's say just like grid storage or over an EV. So it's cool that you can kind of customize it. Number six, in October, the US Department of Energy awarded Amprius a $50 million cost sharing grant. Number seven, a lot of electric aviation companies are looking for a higher energy density. Case in point, Pierre Anton Alberg, the CTO of Alto Hops, which is the Airbus subsidiary, they're developing that fully solar electric high altitude uh, platform station for connectivity and earth observation applications. He said, Amprius is a valued current supplier with a great track record. and We're confident that Amprius's battery will deliver the capability we need. Pretty cool to hear from a current customer who has like a good relationship with the company saying something so positive. Number eight, it's been independently verified. Beaverton, Oregon-based mobile power solutions tested Amprius's cell and got greater than 504 watt hours per kilogram and greater than 1,321 uh, watt hours per liter at 25 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's a big deal. Uh, and that's pretty much what boosted the stock up. So number nine, Elon talked about this technology at Battery Day, remember back in August of 2020, he said this almost three years ago, 400 watt hours per kilogram with high cycle life produced in volume, not just a lab, is not far, probably three to four years. And that was almost three years ago. Right. So does this mean that Amprius is the future of batteries? We don't know. Like we said, 
As a part of our job, we read about new battery technologies almost every day. I am not smart enough or have enough information about each of these technologies to know. But this company does check a lot of the boxes that many other companies don't. One of the biggest questions I usually have for most of these new battery technologies is the cost of actually producing the battery at scale. While this still remains an unanswered question about Amprius, it is interesting that Elon has actually talked about this tech, a guy who knows his stuff about batteries. Remember, he took Maxwell and Highbar and incorporated their tech into the 4680 successfully. Now, what if he did the same with Amprius and put that technology into Tesla's latest battery? I know what's going on in your investor brain right now. It's going on in a lot of investors' brains right now. You've got itchy fingers. You want to pull the trigger and buy some shares in Ampex. You see that recent spike from $4.50 a share to $7.50 a share, and you're like, oh my God, it just went up 66% in like four days. I got to get in on this. And again, we're not financial advisors. Do your own research. Once the news cycle passes this by, it will probably get boring again. That's when I generally look to buy if I think a company has potential. I know what you're thinking though. Well, no, that'll be too late. It'll already shoot up. We have to remember that this is a company with a $630 million market cap. It doesn't take much to move its share price up. Yeah, I know that market cap is one of these numbers that a lot of people kind of gloss over. They don't really know what it means. It's just a big number. It is a big number. It's always a big number, right? Any company that's worth more than a few million dollars, it's a big number to you. I have gotten used to kind of understanding that number, kind of like if you're into baseball and you look at someone's batting average and to most non-baseball people, they're like, what's the difference between a 230 batting average and a 275 batting average? Mm -hmm. Because they're just similar numbers. But people who are in baseball are like, Oh my God, I, I know exactly what that means. $630 million market cap is a tiny company. Um, let's be honest, it's not that big yet. It probably has 150 employees, somewhere in that range. Like you said, it doesn't take much investment to bump that kind of stock price up and down. And that's a key thing here is it's too small for a lot of big fund managers to get into. Um, first of all, they'll move the stock way too much if they try and get into it. And they've got a fund that's probably billions of dollars. So investing a small amount that's going to move the stock price just isn't worth it to them. A lot of these funds want to see companies that are much more established. So it's probably a lot of small investors that are moving the stock price up when they heard about this test that just went out mm. saying this is really what the battery can do. So, I mean, a lot of investors buy in and then they get bored. And they move on when they hear about the next battery company. So if you are going to invest in this company, my advice would be be prepared to hold. This is the kind of thing that's going to go up and down a lot because it's so easily moved by just small number of investors going in or out of the stock. And I mean, like you were saying, right now is not actually the time that you would think about getting into this stock. So talk to talk to me about your strategy of how you would like, let's say that you were I'm pretty gung ho about this company. Um, you want to get in, but you don't want to pay uh, this recent spike in price. You're pretty confident that's, that it's going to come down. You have no guarantee that it's going to come down. It could go to a bajillion dollars, but right. most likely uh, the, the news cycle is going to cool off on it. Um, people who got in are going to probably start to file out. Right. I mean, this is still another thing that's going to take months and months and months before they have any probably new interesting news. I could be wrong. They might have a bunch of things lined up that are going to keep boosting the stock price but up. It's but it's hard. It's a battery. It's a battery. Right. All it's, they can do is exactly. like, hey, it's a Oh, look at that. It turned, you know, like that. that's all you can really say. And what typically happens is in a month or two, we'll be talking about some other battery company. Right. And so people forget about this battery company until, you know, one or two more years later. And so that's why I say, like, I usually wait till things die down and it gets to a price that I think it's at better value at. So for me, I would set something like when it drops below five, I would begin looking into getting picking up shares. And so you could use your brokerage because you can set like alerts on exactly. those brokerages. And so you could say like when it drops below five, don't have it like buy stock or anything. Right, just alert just me. Just have it alert you. Then you can look back into it. You can be like, why did it drop below five? You can right. see it. Oh, okay, that was boring. Or it was like this and then and it's like, whoa, what just happened? Right. Um, and then you could be like, oh, it turns out that it was a scam or whatever. Um, but again, we're not financial advisors. I'm not telling you to buy the stock because, or not. I mean, you have to do a little bit more looking into this company. Well, well, and, and that's see a, if you believe and that's why we have our investor club so i mean if you want to join us on patreon uh, for as little as 10 bucks a month you can join our investor club and one of the most powerful things we have there is our slack channel where our investor club members can talk about this kind of stuff and people far smarter than me can talk about investment strategies in this particular sector mm. people who know about batteries people who have been following amprius closer than we have mm. um, and that's super powerful so if you'd like to consider joining us it helps our channels out quite a bit and it also can help you out quite a bit but let us know 
know what your thoughts are. Comment down below and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss next week's video. We'll see you next week on Disruptive Investing.